Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the Elementor Pro PayPal button on your WordPress website. You can start accepting payments on your WordPress website without installing any third-party e-commerce plugin such as WooCommerce or Cartflows. You can start using Elementor Pro PayPal button and accept the payment on your WordPress website. Let me show you an example. Here I have added this PayPal button. This is a simple buy now button. If I click on it, it will open the PayPal payment system. Customer will be able to make a payment using their PayPal account or they can also use credit card or debit card to make a payment. There are three different types of transactions that you can create using the Elementor Pro PayPal button checkout, donation, and subscription. So you can also create subscription button and start accepting the recurring payment using the PayPal. So I'll show you how you can set up the Elementor Pro PayPal button and what are the settings of this PayPal button. So let's see how does this work. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And on this website, I'm using Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. Here you will see that I have created one pricing package here and I'm using PayPal button here. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to start from the scratch. So let's delete this one. Now I want to add a PayPal button here. So let's click on plus sign and search for PayPal. And you will see a button there, PayPal button. Just drag it and drop it here. Okay, you will see the default PayPal button. It says buy now. Click on button and you will see all the settings in the left hand panel. At the top, you will see PayPal account. Here, you will need to add your PayPal email ID so that you will receive payment on this PayPal account. For example, I'm going to add the email address of my PayPal account. All right, so whenever someone makes a payment using this PayPal button, it will go to this PayPal account. Okay, now you will see transaction type. There are three different types of transactions, checkout, donation, and subscription. The checkout will be one-time payment. Subscription will be a recurring payment, monthly, yearly, or daily, or weekly. And donation will be a simple donation. So let's start with the checkout. Here you can add the name of the product that you're going to sell. I'm going to mention basic pack. You will see this is the pricing for the basic pack. You can also add SKU for this product. And here you can add the price of the product. Now here it shows 49, let's make it 50 so that I can show you the tax also. All right, so the price of this package will be, let's say $50. You will also see the currency. From here, you can change the currency. Currently, it is set to USD. You can select your own currency. Below that, you will see quantity. Currently, it is set to one. And shipping price, let's say I want to add a shipping price of $5. So whatever your shipping price is, you can add the shipping price here. Below that we have tax. You can add the tax here, percentage. Let's say I want to add a tax of 10%. On the price of $50, there will be a tax of 10%. Okay, next to that we have button settings. Currently it shows buy now. I'm going to keep it as it is. It will be buy now. Then we have icon position. Currently, the PayPal icon is selected here. You will see the PayPal icon. You can change the icon. You can search for the icon and change the icon if you want to change it. Icon position will be start or end. Icon spacing, you can change the icon spacing. So here you can add your button ID. Below that we have additional changes, a redirect after success. So if someone makes a payment using this PayPal button, you can redirect them to another page of your website. For example, I have, let's say a contact page here. So after making purchase, I want them to go to contact page. So I'll go back and here I'll add the link of the contact page. So after making a payment using this PayPal button, it is going to redirect them to the contact page. Sandbox mode, you can enable the sandbox mode and you can add your sandbox email account. So for the testing purpose, you can enable the sandbox mode. Once you are done with the testing, you can disable it and make it live. Open PayPal in a new tab. So if someone clicks on this button, it is going to open the, the PayPal payment system in another window so that your customer will not leave your website. If you do not want that, you can simply disable it from here. 
custom message if there is any error it will show this error message if you want to change it you can add your own custom message paypal not connected this is the message for the paypal not connected no payment method is connected contact the seller if you want to change this message you can change it i'm going to disable it i'm going to keep it as the default one let's go to style settings from here you can change the style settings of this button from here you can change the position typography you can change the typography you can increase or decrease the, the font size you can also change the font family weight transform so these are the basic style settings of this button currently you will see the default color for the button you can change the color also this is the text color i'm going to change the text color also you will see the changes here border you can also add border let's add one pixel border and add the border color let's use this one let's make it two pixel all right so this is the border you can also change the border radius now this is like a square button all right so you will see the border radius here padding you can change the padding okay so this is the padding message these are the style settings for the message if there is any error it will use these style settings for the error message here you will see the button you will see the text here by now okay so if you want to change this text you can change it from here okay i'm going to click on publish and let's see how does this work let's go to the page refresh it and we have this button here now if i click on it it will open the paypal system on a new window you will see total amount is 60 dollar the basic price of the product is 50 dollars five dollars is the shipping cost and another five dollar is the tax which is 10 percent of the actual price if i go here you will see the pricing and payment the price is 50 dollars shipping price is five dollars and the tax percentage is ten percent which is nothing but five dollars so so the total amount will be sixty dollars now in order to make a purchase the customer will need to log into their paypal account and they can complete the payment using the paypal or there is another option pay with credit or debit card if i click on it it will open the credit card system so the user or the customer will be able to make a purchase using their credit cards without logging into the paypal account so you will see paypal guest checkout option is there All right let's close it now let's go back and let's check out the transaction type let's make it donation okay and i'm going to keep the other settings as it is let's change the text donate now okay so this is the text if i go to pricing and payment you will see different options here fixed amount any amount or you can add a fixed amount if i make it fixed amount and let's make it 99 dollars if someone clicks on it it will open the paypal payment system with 99 dollars if you want the customer or the visitor to enter their own amount then you can select the option any amount and in that case the visitor will be able to enter the amount that they want to donate so this is any amount or fixed amount so I'm going to make it fixed amount and the currency will be again USD. You can change the currency from here. Button donate now and I'm going to keep the other settings as it is. Click publish. So refresh it. You will see the change here. Donate now. If I click on it, it should open the donate window. However, the donations are not supported in this organization's country so, so i'm in india so it's not accepting donation so the donations through paypal is not allowed in india so that's why i won't be able to take the donation here all right now let's go back and go to pricing and payment let's change transaction type to subscription now here you can accept the recurring payment the price will be 50 dollars currency and the billing cycle now here you can change the billing cycle currently it is set to monthly you can change it to daily weekly monthly or yearly so i'm going to keep it on monthly auto renewal is turned on so each month it is going to renew the subscription automatically now change the text to subscribe 
and publish it. Let's refresh it. Okay, now you will see the subscribe button here. If I click on it, it will open the PayPal payment system. Now, in this case, you will not see any option to make a payment using the credit card. The customer will need to have a PayPal account. They can log into their PayPal account and add the subscription into their PayPal account. So the PayPal is going to renew the subscription automatically. So in this subscription type, the customer will also need PayPal account and they can set up the subscription into their PayPal account. So these are the three different types of transactions that you can create using the Elementor Pro PayPal button. You do not need to install any third party e-commerce plugins such as WooCommerce or CardFlows. You can use the Elementor PayPal button directly on your website and start accepting payment using the PayPal. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.